Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Monday the 3rd of April. Kelly have had, and I have had something planned all day. By the time we get ready to go, it goes from beautiful sunshine and dry to a, a deluge. There's even been uh, sleet and hell on the freeways, wrecks all over the place. Um... But like between Castle Rock and Barnes Road, like exit 52, whatever it is out there, that's, that's down the road a little ways. But uh, so this last clearing left, it's a good thing we didn't walk off because it just, it cut loose. It would have wiped us out. But anyway, so we, we still have hope. We don't know if it's ever going to work out. And it's not going to dry. I mean, it's, I think it's almost six o'clock or something now. That comes spring weather in Northwest. I heard a big old thundercracker a while ago. Boom! You can see this the clearing out there towards the west. So when you look towards the south and there's some nice blue skies there, just needs to get to us. <laughs> All right, let's see how it works out. So. I got the shocks done. Let me throw, throw some, some light at it here. If it ever turns on. So I got those pro lines in there. They look good. Look what I came up with for a bushing at the top. I used the stock Traxxas bushing off the stock, stock shocks. And I put O-rings on each side of it because you can't click in to a metal, those balls. So I can't, those O-rings fit perfect inside here. But uh, yeah, get it, continue to focus. They look really nice. My only problem is with them is um, they're super, super soft. <laughs> Love these trucks. Let me pop this thing off of the um, mount here. <laughs> it's, it's crazy soft, but it, it will make for one incredibly realistic and smooth ride. I can only imagine. I've just been driving around here, driving over stuff in the in the house, and but I can even at slow speeds going through the house, I can rock the steering back and forth. <laughs> the truck goes. But it's very real looking. So I think it, I think if, because I put 40 weight oil in there, I think if I actually bumped it to 60, that would probably be perfect. It'll just whoa things up. But you don't want to have too much damping because then they'll, you know, they'll bounce that way or they don't, you know, springs won't react. They won't rebound fast enough. So you have this stacking effect. You know, if you hit a bump and your suspension doesn't, you know, it comes up. Rebound, you bring it right back. Well, if you get it where it doesn't return fast enough, you have this stacking effect that the truck just starts packing down. The same thing with the motorcycle. Mess you all kinds up. Not that you're going to have that kind of issue on something that crawls along. But let me, um, I was like, oh yeah, I was going to take the truck off the stand. One nice thing is it has the most perfect sag. If I can grab something and pull down from underneath. So it's just laying on its weight there. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But, <laughs> you, gotta, if, you know what it reminds me of? Um, Kelly's um, Red Cat Gen 8. That's exactly how that thing reacts. Whoa. But you lose all... Get my pee pad straightened out. Oh, dirt is coming out of the tires. It never stops. But um, when... Uh, <laughs> it's very nice. It's very realistic. When you get it out there and, and run it... Whenever I can. 
Everything's all a limit now. <sighs> Lordy. But, um... Yeah, it, it may be too soft, I don't know. Or it may be something I really like. And then when I want to get, you know, do s something more serious for the rock crawling, it's hands down those uh, desert lizard shocks. Those things, they're the, they're the king of, of that kind of thing. Because the way it holds it down, keeps the body steady. You don't want to take all the realism away. But, you know, I can side hill it, and it just side hills. What they do is they side hill the the chassis on the ground, but the body's hanging way over. And that actually helps uh, produce tip-overs. Still can't believe I had this thing for that long and didn't realize that that sticker was <laughs> missing off the left rear or right rear. But I'm still pondering... I really like the way these work, but it's got the same rubbers. And listen, I can make them slide across that center sleeve thing. But I, I don't know. I really like the way they haven't done anything wrong. But I have noticed that at times they'll they'll do that roll where there's kind of the whole the whole tire just shifts to one side, but nothing like those go go hobbies these are hobby parks stuff all of this is hobby park i've been really impressed with them and i went to them to get another set of wheels and and tires but they didn't have that um satin um look and i thought i was getting a five five spoke five hole for the truck it actually turned out to be six but Hobby parks are really hard to find stuff that you find more of it when they suggest it to you. And they're really big into the colors, you know, the blues and the reds. And I, that's just not me, you know. Even the blue of those Proline shocks, although they look cool, that's kind of a little too flashy, but God, they work so smooth. It's literally the smoothest shocks I've ever felt on a vehicle. I think I'm literally, literally going to go to the... It's funny, sometimes I can't even say it. It's not like a tongue-tie thing. It just won't come out. But I think I have a voice on that anyway. So that's nothing new. It's just one I can't actually pronounce it. But those primary springs are pretty much getting used up right away. It's got the little primary soft springs and the stiffer main spring, springs. Anyway. I'll, I'll bounce. I'll let you know what I do with tires and whatever at a later time. Finally, finally got a break in the weather to do something Kelly and I wanted to do. We're going to do another mail run with the RC cars. Kelly's taking her 150 with the trailer. To and carry the it, package. Yeah, to carry the package. And I bought some bungai cords so I can uh, I can tie it down. So hang tight and gather up my 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 stuff here. We got to go slow. I don't want to get freaked out by uh, walking this far. So I'm gonna take it slow and easy. So bear with us. Welcome to the day, by the way. <laughs> All right. Are you ready, Mom? Mm hmm. I'm sure ready. Let's roll with these things. I put those Proline shocks on there, and they are crazy, crazy, crazy soft. <laughs> I think it could use at least 60 weight oil in it. Watch. <laughs> it leaps in the air when you gas it. How about that? A couple of high trails out here sporting it. Yeah, buddy. This package, it's her medicine for diabetes. And uh, it comes in a freezer pack thing. We wonder sometimes how they even get it in the mailbox. 
so we decided we need some extra help. <laughs> the old K10 and F-150. This is the first time they've officially been out together, isn't it? I think yeah. you and I rolled around, but we didn't record them. That 150, she sure does look good. You booty foal. Look how soft that suspension is. Really cool looking shocks. All right, let's do some do some traveling. Huh? I've uh, I felt pretty good today. My blood pressure is believe believe it or not, this is the lowest I've seen it since um since I was even in the hospital. Yeah. Um, I had a 171 of 101 that's scorching high but the but that's meds, low for hubby that's low for me since this all started so we're uh, hoping to get things all sorted out here and be done with all this and he told us you know don't be take it very easy but don't be afraid to go for little walks and Play with my putty, play with my RC cars, do things. <laughs> Still shocks me that there's a stock motor in that thing. Oh, I took the bumper out of the back of this thing, or that skid pan thing. I left the front one. I've got to go all the way to the right bumper. Anyway, we got a passing car. Look at Mama's sporting trailer lights, even. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. The parcel has been picked up by the carrier <laughs> and heading home. The little bungees work great, huh? Yeah, they're cute little farts. Wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but... Whoa! It's wild me. Look who was coming down here. Uh-oh. Do you know goes, you're not supposed uh -oh. to be down uh -oh. here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Damn you, boy. The high trails get it done. Of course, you guys are probably laughing because we're going so slow. But uh, I gotta go slow. It don't take me two shakes to get out of whack. Yeah. I'm walking all the way down here, he's probably pushing that. Yeah, this is the longest of anything I've done. Sammy, get out of there, yard. Get out of there, boy. That F-150, that is something else. It's just like that. Kelly's dad's. This was one year older than what this one's based off of. <laughs> you have to be a, a Ford nerd to notice the difference, I guess. What a peaceful evening it turned out to be. We've been, Kelly's been working on some craft stuff and got upset towards the end because something she spent hours on 
didn't work out. And um, I've been goofing with these shocks for a while, and I did, did something else. Because remember, I only filled that one with the 40 weight. Sure makes a really smooth ride on it, though. It's got body roll like no other. <laughs> you compare it to the stock. Of course, hers has got, I don't know what they put in it. I think they say 30, but it feels like about 80 weight in those things. I put 15 in my stocks on this and made it a super, super smooth. But and again, that body roll can happen pretty easy on it as well. Family fun with the RC cars. And what's better than two Traxxas TRX high trail? Chevy versus Ford today. <laughs> so, Kelly, we're gonna have to start using the other one so they don't feel lost in there. <laughs> it's just way too easy to grab these every time. would say hello there YouTube but we've been talking to you the whole time yes. we've been running around out here mm -hmm. but uh how's that for a RC only vlog yes <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it went today it, it was so beautiful so many times we just couldn't get out and catch it I know it then here come the rain and the hail and yeah yeah it's terrible but anyway I, if you guys were wondering I did good today best mm -hmm. blood pressure numbers I've had yeah you know since it's all been going on I, I was in low two like I had 202 and 212 yeah at one way point up there. that was way if you were paying attention when Ryan was in there and messing around that girl goes you want me to test you he goes, ah, you can test me <laughs> and um anyway you can see the the digital monitor that, that they use on me you can see 188 over 128 or something like that. Yeah. Look at that monitor. It's sitting there. She had just did my readings. Yeah, way too high. Yeah. So, and that was kind of a low one compared. Yeah. I was 190s all the way through. Yeah, usually so. 196 right yeah. around there. Ryan was 128 over 44 or something like that, if I remember right. That good kid. Oh, a young buck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, we're going to roll on that before we freeze out here. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. All right. That's it. We see you in the morning. That's what you call ending the day. Yes. Perfect. Bye-bye <laughs> now.